Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review and overview of the Mighty Vac 2 hand vacuum pump. This is an American-made vacuum pump. They've had a patent on these for a long time. I'm not sure if it's still valid, um, but because they had a patent, these were pretty expensive, $40 to $50. They're actually still sold at all the auto parts stores, as far as I can tell, and at Harbor Freight. When you buy these new, they do come with a kit with various different fittings to hook this up to various different kind of... Um, hoses and etc for automotive testing as well as a bottle for brake bleeding these things are pretty handy and they can be used for more uh, purposes than just automotive detecting vacuum leaks uh, using them to detect vacuum actuated components such as cruise control actuators and so forth one of the nice uh, applications for automotive besides vacuum testing is brake bleeding Brake bleeding can be a bit of a frustration because you have to have somebody open and close bleeder valves while somebody else stomps and presses on the brake pedal. When you have a vacuum pump and a special bottle which allows fluid to drop into the bottle and not get sucked through the vacuum pump, and it's real simple, it's just a bottle with a short hose and a long hose in it, you can use this to actually suck the brake fluid right through the system and because you're reducing the pressure, it causes the bubbles to want the, any air pockets or air bubbles to want to actually travel towards the source of the vacuum. So it can make it much easier and really makes it a true one-man operation because you just connect it to the bottle and then you just pump it up and it would suck the brake fluid right through. And it really makes it a, a much more solid job. You don't have those issues where you blood the brakes and pump the pedal and then you still have a little air pocket. So you got to go around and do it again. When you're using a vacuum pump, it really is just like a one-shot deal. Now, one issue I've always had is the price for these being plastic is the $40 to $50. One thing I can say is even though it is plastic, they are reasonably high quality. You can't, they won't take a lot of abuse or being dropped on the ground. But the sealing and pump action is actually held up pretty well. And... You can put a little drop of oil periodically to keep them lubricated. It does have a simple little filter to prevent too many particles from falling into the exhaust port, which I thought was a good idea. Another thing to note about hand vacuum pumps is you and diaphragm style for that matter is these will only achieve so much vacuum. So if we pump this all the way up, we can see we get about 30 inches of vacuum. If you there we go. If we continue to pump it, you can get just a little bit more. What ends up happening is right around 28 to 29 inches, you get so much vacuum that there really isn't what would be considered air pressure anymore wanting to flow towards the vacuum pump. And that's one kind of conceptual thing is once you get to this point, um, you're really not moving much air. You're kind of trying to pump out molecules instead. And that's why the vacuum force ends up uh, dying off. And you, to really get much higher than what one of these get uh, achieves, you need what is a rotary vane two-stage vacuum pump. And I'll do a review on one of those in the future. So if you're expecting high volume or extreme micronic types of vacuum, this won't achieve that. A simple thing is it does have a release lever here. That is the only real function on it. And so when you, you can pump up the vacuum, and then use this release lever to slowly or relieve the vacuum pressure. What is nice is that you this is a pretty finely adjustable so you can slowly release the vacuum pressure rather than having it be all uh, a sudden situation. The last comment I would make about these is they have a really strong spring in them and uh, after a while pumping they can be a little bit more uh, fatiguing and I think that's why they changed the design to be more curved is just so it's a little more comfortable because it can uh, you know, get a little tiresome operating this, especially when you're trying to bleed brakes and you're just constantly operating it. One of the last little features is that the gauge is replaceable on it, and I always thought that was handy. So if the gauge does get broken or you want a more accurate one or a larger one, you can certainly replace it. So overall, as far as availability of hand vacuum pumps, the Mighty Vac is one of the few that actually works in a reliable fashion. Uh, but my best advice is to at least spend the moment looking around your local classifieds, maybe Craigslist, something like that, to see if maybe there's a used vacuum pump, uh, an electrically powered one, because you'll be much better off in that situation. 
rather than buying a new Mighty Vac. But if you can't, then the Mighty Vac will certainly work out. You just have to kind of be careful with them because at forty and fifty dollars, they're not the cheapest of a plastic tool. Um, and it would, and I've broken these before where you just drop it and the fitting or something breaks, and it's always kind of disappointing because it's just fifty dollars down the drain. And uh, this, since this is the second one, I actually bought this used. It quickly gets to the point where I'd be better off have bought buying like a gassed uh, motorized vacuum pump. The other nice thing about motorized vacuum pump is you have continuous vacuum and a lot more volume, so it makes things go a lot easier. Using this to bleed brakes would take you, you know, 10 or 20 minutes. Using a motorized vacuum pump would take you five minutes. Anyway, I just saw a few reviews of these on YouTube and wanted to go ahead and add my uh, two cents to the pile regarding the Mighty Vac 2s. Uh, and I did want to mention, if you ever see one of these used for 5 or $10, you know, it's real easy to test if they work because all you have to do is put your finger over the hose, make sure the valve is shut, and see if it pulls a vacuum. If it doesn't, it's not good. And if it does, then it is good. And the last thing, it is screwed together so we can take it apart and clean it out if you need to and periodically you would want to do that otherwise i think that finishes up for a basic overview and review of the mighty vac 2 hand vacuum pump that's commonly available i really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe caddis maximus out